setup and reconditioning brake drums. Preparation. Measure the diameter of the brake drum with a brake drum micrometer. Determine if the drum will be within maximum rebore limits after reconditioning. Note, most often the discard diameter is cast into the brake drum, not the maximum machining diameter. Inspect brake drum. Do not attempt to machine a drum that is damaged or in poor condition. Lathe setup. Loosen the boring bar clamp nut and push the boring bar all the way into the clamp. Mount the drum on the arbor using the proper adapters, cones, and spacers. Wrap the drum silencer band snugly around the drum. Be sure it covers up to the right-hand edge. Position the cross slide by turning the crossfeed hand wheel to its maximum clockwise position. Then back off the crossfeed hand wheel two complete turns. Position the boring bar by loosening the boring bar clamp nut and sliding the boring bar inward toward the drum until the tool bit is close to the drum. The boring bar position is changed whenever a drum of different diameter is machined. The entire boring bar clamp may also be swiveled to achieve the best cutting position. Turn the drum by hand to make sure that everything is clear and all components have been secured properly. Turn the lathe on. Advance the tool bit using the crossfeed hand wheel until it just contacts the drum surface momentarily and makes a scratch cut. Loosen the dial lock screw on the crossfeed hand wheel and set the dial to the diameter of the drum as measured with a micrometer. Tighten the lock screw. This setting will be the reference used to help determine the drum recondition diameter. Back the tool bit off and turn the lathe off. Loosen the arbor nut. Rotate the drum one half turn, 180 degrees, on the arbor and inner adapter and retighten the nut. Turn the lathe on. Turn the workpiece on the spindle one half turn in either direction and make a second scratch cut. Turn the lathe off. Examine the scratch cuts. If the first and second cuts are opposite one another, 180 degrees apart, Remove the drum from the arbor. Check the mounting adapters and arbor for nicks, burrs, or chips. Remount the drum and repeat the scratch cut process. If the scratches are side by side, proceed to the next step. Turn the lathe on and use the spindle jog button to position the tool bit until the deepest worn groove of the drum lines up with the point of the tool bit. Advance the tool bit into the bottom of the groove by rotating the crossfeed hand wheel counterclockwise. Note, these operations may be done with a lathe running. The depth of cut dial will show the approximate reconditioned diameter of the drum. This measurement must be compared with the maximum rebore limits cast into the drum the measured diameter to determine the best amount of material to be removed in one pass. Determine the depth of cut by these general guidelines. Roughing cuts should be no deeper than 20 thousandths or 0.5 millimeters. Finished cuts should be no shallower than 4 thousandths or 0.1 millimeters deep. With the lathe running, set the depth of cut dial to the depth desired and lock the crossfeed by tightening the lock knob. At the control console, select to activate either the drum rough cut or drum finish cut button. The drum feed rate may be changed by pressing either the plus or minus button on the control console. Set the feed shut off by sliding it on the shaft to a point that approximately equals the depth of the drum and tightening it in place. The feed will stop when it reaches this point. Press the drum start button to begin. Thank you again for your purchase of the Amco 4000E brake lathe with variable speed and electronic variable feed.